Thank you, Tadasan, for introducing me. Um, hello, everyone. Now, I'll be talking about the cloud native community in Japan. My name is Kohei Ota, and I'm a software engineer at Apple and uh, a, a chair of QDay. First of all, this is the 10th anniversary for Kubernetes. There are a lot of things has happened, and let me speak about the beginning. So this was Kubernetes back in 2014. You may think nothing is different now and then, but is that true? Now, Kubernetes is not just a standalone open source software. We have the cloud native ecosystem from the low layer container runtimes networking components such as CNI, ingress, and the metrics, logging, storage, application management like GitOps. You have a lot of options um, to build your own platform. Based on the CNCF project velocity report released this year, Linux is still at the forefront of open source projects with more than 4,000 authors and 130,000 uh, pull requests and issues opened in the last year alone. And Kubernetes has uh, 3,500 authors and 57,000 contributors, which is still a pretty big large number for an open source project. The size of the circles show the ratio of contribution number over the number of contributors. You can see that Kubernetes is about the same size as Linux, and it shows that now Kubernetes has a, one of the most active communities in the open source world. As of mid-2024, Kubernetes has had 42 million of contributions by over 88,000 of contributors from over 8,000 of companies. This number includes the sum of the Japanese companies we should highlight here. As this is Kubernetes Japan, so who are they? In these 10 years, out of the 8,000, 8, there are six Japanese companies in the top 100 list that have ever contributed to Kubernetes. NEC, Fujitsu, Merkari, Chatwork, Lanyahu, and Hitachi. This is a remarkable result to mention. We also should not forget about individual contributors, not just companies. Akihiro Suda, who has contributed to many projects, including Docker and ContainerD, which are now an essential part of the cloud native ecosystem. He received CNCF Top Contributor Award in 2023 out of all the developers in the world. He's such a legend. Kensei Nakada and Yuki Y have worked for Kubernetes Scheduler, and uh, years and they received Kubernetes Top Contributor Award in SIG Scheduling and Autoscaling. Yugo Kobayashi has worked for Customize, which is a plugin for Kubernetes command line, and he received Top Contributor Award in SIG CLI in 2023. Not to mention that the Top Contributor's amazing work, Japanese contribution for CNCF is varied for the code and non-code contributions. Kubernetes.io is the website, um, uh, and it has the Japanese localization. And it's one of the most translated languages of all languages, along with Chinese and Korean. CNCF has glossary, which is, uh, which is the uh, dictionary for cloud native technical terminology. And the localization project for Japanese language is active too. Pipe CD is a CNCF sandbox project, which is originated in Japan, and now has over 1K studs on GitHub. You should check it out if you're looking for a CD tool for cross-platform, not just Kubernetes, but also other infra platforms. We got amazing community contributors, such as CNCF ambassadors and Kubestronauts. Now, we have five ambassadors in Japan and 13 Kubestronauts from the Japanese community. Kubestronauts is a new exciting program for those who take CNCF certification. Now I'm going to talk about local communities in Japan. 
We cannot forget about Kubernetes communities in Japan. Kubernetes Meetup Tokyo is the largest Kubernetes Meetup in Japan. I was also one of the beginners who studied many fundamental parts from this group. They have given constant and now uh, they mainly focus online to pro pro provide the event all over the country. Kubernetes Meetup Novice is a community group established in 2020. And it provides not just an environment to learn, but also to give a talk about what people learned casually. Both of the communities are online based since COVID, so people can easily join the event wherever you are. We had those cute cakes and some sushi as we are in Japan. Even though I was not there, I heard it was a great event. CNCF as Japanese, uh, and Japanese communities have had years of the relationship, and JKD and CND is a top leading conference in the cloud native field in Japan. This is the number of registration of the attendees. You can see we have more off, uh, offline attendees in 2023 compared to 2022 after the pandemic. It is amazing to see over hundreds of people gathering in the same place. For international community, we have KubeCon in America, Europe, and Asia. How many people are there in the events, you may wonder. CNCF publishes the transparency report for each KubeCon, and this is the result for North America last year. We can see the number, 10,000 of folks with over 300 of sessions, with 1,800 of session proposal submissions. This is a huge number. We have a Japanese community gathering at KubeCon, which also happens every KubeCon EU and NA, and we had 50 people there in Paris. So we have the numbers of international community, local communities, and local conference attendees 300, while KubeCon attendee is 13,000, with around 50-ish Japanese community folks. We need to gain awareness of international communities and contribution from Japanese companies and communities. And this is part of the reasons we, uh, why we made CNCF Japan local chapter last year. Since then, we are trying even harder to make a stronger relationship with the local community and the global community. So we're here to support all of you if you're interested in contributing to Kubernetes and CSF projects. Now, you may wonder, what, what can I do? I'm just a beginner and I'm just a user, but that's okay. Working for a company is not only the way to learn about Kubernetes or its ecosystem. You can join our community to study, take exams, or for your future career. If you have something to share, you can share. We have communities to support you. If you found a bug or an idea for improvement, it's a good opportunity to contribute. Documentation, improvements, and translation is as precious as code contribution. You can even aim for becoming a kubestronaut or an ambassador. By the time you have done many of these. And this is a wrap up. So first of all, happy thanks Kubernetes anniversary. We have come very, so very far from the beginning. We have amazing contributors and communities in Japan, but we have more space to grow. Any of you who are this, at this event or who's watching the archive can start your contribution to the community. And at last, please enjoy Cube Day. I can't wait to see all the upcoming sessions and the interactions that will happen. That is from me, and thank you, and see you again. <laughs>